Welcome to Oita! Through 20 episodes in Season 3, we have taken you to various places from onsen, nature, farm stay, to history and culture attractions, art and craft, local cuisine and activities that you can only experience in Oita. Let's hear from those who are involved in this program. This program is really helpful for like um, international students or even for other international tourists as well to know more and explore more about Oita. We also love the experience of Oita. Before that, I didn't know that Oita has such a huge capabilities, but after joining this event, I get to know unidentified places of Oita. For me, it was such an amazing experience that I could work with such wonderful people in the team and also experience so many exciting things in this program. The most interesting place is the Showamachi because there are a lot of like museums and shows not only toys like the old period cars and we can see how people uh, lived in that period. I think it's Lodge Kiyokawa because it's like a resort place, right? There are like three houses and also we can do rafting and there's sauna and you can just go camping with your friends and it's like pretty chill. えっと、Well, I really love nature, so when when I went to Tadewara Marsh, I really like the, the hiking trail up there. Definitely go again. For me, that was Yufuing. That impressed me the most because I like food and there are so many food stalls on the Yufuing streets and it actually looked like a Ghibli movie that you could run away from your urban life. Yes, there's something that's very memorable when we were shooting the video. So, because our video is about uh, Seki Aji and Seki Saba, horse mackerel and mackerel, we get to eat the sashimi of the boat of the fishes, right? And then what's crazy is that the fish is literally so fresh that even when it's still on your plate, you can see like the tail is still moving. So that's like how fresh that is, like when we were eating and like reviewing it. So, that's crazy. <laughs> Talking yeah. about water activity, for me, I tried rafting. That was my first time mm. ever doing that. Yeah. So instead of like going forward, I keep like turning in circles. <laughs> the more I rode, the more I turned in circles. I, yeah. I, I know what it's like. I think it was when I was at Kotsu Kotsu An. So I was given the chance to be blindfolded. And I think that is like for the first time in my life ever been like blindfolded. Yeah, I think that was like a fun experience. <laughs> I think people always specialize like going to Tokyo and Osaka more. So I think people should explore outside Tokyo and Osaka and visit places like Oita or places around Kyushu. Oita definitely is a nature rich area, like very beautiful. So I think it's like very special. Um, I'm a fourth year already and I'm gonna graduate. But when I experienced going to a lot of places, I thought, I haven't been to like any places, so like I missed out a lot of stuff. So I feel like uh, people who's living in Beppu or people who who's in Oita, they should really go to like a lot of places as much as possible because it's a nice place. Thank you for watching our videos. We'll be discovering more exciting parts of Oita with you. And stay tuned to our upcoming seasons. Oita de Matemas! If you want to experience a different culture, technology, and new developments, and also be surrounded by the amazing natural beauty of both the oceans and the mountains, please come to Oita! Explore Oita! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching our video. It was a great experience for us, and we hope everybody could enjoy Oita as much as we did. So, so we'll see you in Oita! Oita.